Kate Middleton has been wearing her new title of the Princess of Wales with a lot of grace lately. The comparisons with the late Princess of Wales, Lady Diana, keep increasing. In some recent appearances, it seems she's ready to win over many hearts. This video will show how Kate Middleton's grace and kindness are being praised and how she's different from the other members of the royal family, starting with Kate's adorable interaction with a three-year-old boy. While visiting a maternal mental health center, the Princess of Wales reminded everyone why she was a princess. Being a Maternal Mental Health Alliance patron, she had to visit Cullum Manor Children's Center in Hillingdon. But when she appeared at the venue, a little fan caught all of her attention. What was captured was the cutest video we've seen of the Princess of Wales so far. Instead of doing her usual handshakes, greetings, and polite small talk, the 40-year-old headed straight towards a three-year-old boy named Akeem. The Sky News royal correspondent shared a video of their interaction. The princess is chatting with the little boy in the video. Unlike the other people gathered at the entrance, Akeem didn't know who the princess was. When he asked her, Kate said, My name is Catherine. Then she proceeded to take off the poppy pinned on her coat and put it on Akeem, who seemed quite smitten by the gesture. This video gained much traction online, and Kate's actions have been compared with Meghan Markle's behavior. Danielle Elser, a royal commentator, claimed that the former suit star never really committed to her role as Princess of Wales did. Elser believes that Meghan found these royal engagements pointless, so she never looked as graceful or diligent as Kate. Kate Middleton. There have been many comparisons with Kate's late mother-in-law as well. Many believe that Kate shows the same humility as Lady Diana did. Moving on to Kate Middleton's tribute to her late mother-in-law. Although we cannot be together in person at this closing of the Nursing Now campaign, I wanted to say a huge congratulations. This year's Remembrance Weekend became the first time in 70 years that Queen Elizabeth II wasn't around to lead the memorial proceedings. But in the Queen's absence, Kate Middleton made sure to make the memorial a special one. While attending the Festival of Remembrance at Royal Albert Hall, she appeared wearing a black blazer. To go with the blazer, she also wore a pearl choker, an earring set that she also wore at the Queen's funeral. The three poppy pins on her blazer paid homage to her great-grandmother Olivia Middleton three brothers, who fought and died in World War I. But that wasn't the last of her tributes. She attended the National Service of Remembrance on the same day as the Cenotaph in London. This time, she wore a black blazer dress once again, but she also wore a black, broad-brimmed hat and a pair of pearl earrings. The earrings caught everyone's attention, as they were none other than Lady Diana's pearl earrings. Diana had worn these earrings on many occasions, such as in 1990 at a banquet for Japanese Emperor Akihito, or 1994 and a gala in the Palace of Versailles. Experts claim there will be many more subtle tributes in the future. With Middleton's annual Christmas Carol concert coming up, it's clear that there would be some tributes to the late Queen Elizabeth II. The concert was announced to be entirely held to honor the late Queen. Let's see what the other royal experts see about the princess's new groove. Becoming a senior member of the royal family has not only brought some pressure on Kate, but also added new rules to her life. But so far, it seems she's eased into her new role pretty quickly. Royal correspondent Richard Palmer claimed that Middleton now had much more to offer. By being a duchess, her true skills were held back. Now she has the time to shine. Palmer believed that the 40-year-old was trying to change the country through her new title. But it can happen to any one of us. None of us are immune. She's a very serious woman. She wants to use her power to make some important changes, but the media remains focused on superficial things. Palmer explained that the Princess of Wales uses her public appearances to raise awareness about matters close to her heart, especially awareness of mental health issues. She's also speaking up more about children and how they break from mental distress. She prepares speeches and makes them every chance she gets, but the media remains obsessed over her dresses, makeup, and hair. According to news sources, palace officials have refused to give reporters details about Kate's outfits. The princess wants the media to focus on something other than her appearance. This frustration is starting to grow as Middleton believes the content of her speeches should matter more than her fashion. Let's see how Kate will handle that frustration and grow as the Princess of Wales. Following up with more comparisons between Meghan and Kate, the two royal family members have always been head-to-head -head ever since Meghan entered the family portrait. And the British media just can't get enough of the comparisons. Good evening, everyone. It is 
very nice to be back in the UK. It seems Meghan and Kate are always in a constant battle with each other to prove who's more adored. Royal experts claim that Kate is ready to overthrow Meghan on her home turf. They claim that Kate Middleton is way more popular than Markle in America. With the 40-year-old's visit to California next month, experts claim that she will get more attention and love from the American public than Meghan. But that doesn't mean the American public dislikes Markle. She just received the Ripple of Hope Award in the U.S., with the awards ceremony being held just a week after Prince William. William and Princess Kate's visit to the U.S. But many see Meghan's award as a farce. Professor David Nassau claimed that Meghan's nomination for the Hope Award was ridiculous. Some royal experts claim that Kate has more personality than Meghan, which allows her to connect with others. They are confident that Kate's U.S. visit will be successful and the world will see her shine. This would be her first visit to America since 2014, so there's a lot to be excited about. The British press's reactions would highlight this U.S. trip and how they continue to pit these two women against each other. Moving on to the relationship between the two sisters-in-law. We keep hearing about a cold war between Kate and Meghan, but none of that shows in their recent public appearances together. But things are quite strained behind the scenes, as it appears. Experts claim that matters haven't been resolved between the two, as Meghan hasn't invited Kate to appear on her podcast, Archetypes. The podcast is supposed to feature strong women who have risen above the labels placed on them. Obviously such a huge topic. It wasn't as big as I actually thought it was, but um but it was something that I think all three of us at the time. But it seems Kate wasn't a popular candidate for the podcast. Richard Palmer commented on the fraught relationship between the two. He believed that there wasn't anything left of their friendship. He admitted that things might change, but the signs show that they're pretty strained. But another royal expert, Neil Sean, claimed that Megan urged Kate to appear on her podcast. This might have happened when Markle visited Windsor and stayed at William and Kate's Frogmore Cottage. The source claimed that Meghan did request the Princess of Wales if she could appear on a future episode of Archetypes, but it remains unconfirmed at the moment. Finishing things off with Kate getting snubbed at King Charles's birthday party. Kate Middleton may now be a senior member of the royal family, but there was a time when she had to wriggle her way into royal affairs. Former royal butler Grant Harold claimed at the time that the Princess of Wales was snubbed at King Charles's birthday party. This happened back when Kate and William were students at St. Andrews University in Scotland. By 2004, it had been confirmed that the two were dating, and in 2008, Kate was invited to celebrate the 60th birthday party. But at that time, no one had taken her seriously. No one had known that she would be the future king's wife. At Charles's 60th birthday, she was left unrecognized and left to seat herself at the marquee. The former butler recalled that no one was going near her or talking to her. It was as if she was a nobody. Even Prince William William wasn't by her side. Grant went to Kate himself and talked to her until Prince William finally arrived. He remembered the interaction as quite sweet. Harold added that if she entered a marquee like that on her own right now, she would be surrounded by a mob. But there was a time when the princess was just an ordinary girl waiting to make her place in the world. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Kate Middleton's rise in popularity since she became the Princess of Wales? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.